And now also with those youngsters in the side, they've experienced what it's like to be a champion. And the future for New Zealand cricket is certainly bright. They will stay with us for a long time to come, as they should. The champagne is flowing, the tears are flowing, and the smiles are big as they should be. tournament with an awful record since the last T20 World Cup, having won 5 out of 22 T20 internationals. But they turned it around with a magnificent win against India in their opening game. They may have suffered a loss against Australia, but after that, they were able to get through their semi-final to the final and defeat South Africa by 32 runs. Wonderful for the coaching staff who've worked so hard behind the scenes. Made a few changes to their starting 11 as well at times. The tactical changes worked for them. They've had a few individual stars stand out. But they have been well led by the experienced captain Sophie Devine. It'll be one of their greatest highs they may ever experience. After some real disappointments and heartbreak in the past. But now they have a real springboard to jump off and possibly bring back more silverware from here. They'll be dancing into the evening into the early morning and they will be absolutely loving this as they should may only sink in tomorrow may only sink in next week but they are world champions gold medal here came so close in 2016, they were so good in that tournament. West Indies in the end though, knocked them out in the semi-finals. That would have been tough to take. It was hard for them to also reset from there. Battled to find their way even into a semi-final. But this time around, they've gone all the way. Laura Volpart has been absolutely magnificent with the bat. She came into the tournament in superb form. And she used that so well right throughout, found consistency, and got South Africa off to the start that they required. Top run scorer goes to Laura Bullfart, the captain of South Africa, who opening batting partner just behind her with 187 runs as well through the tournament. from the player of the tournament, the player of the match tonight as well, but a standout with the football. Very experienced, just even at 24 years of age. She was a huge part of getting New Zealand firstly to the final and then lifting the trophy. 15 wickets to the leg spinner. She battled to cramp tonight. It wasn't easy for her. She contributed with the bat as well. But it's what she did with the ball that really made her stand above everybody else in this tournament. Nankuleleku Mlava will go home with 12 wickets as her career continues to grow as well.